no one cares about the FA Cup. That's something you hear a lot when it comes to the FA Cup weekends. Oh, it's not that important of a competition. All we care about is a league in the Champions League. But this is the oldest cup competition in the world. And you might have heard about this term, the magic of the cup. I'm not Harry Houdini. I'm definitely not studying at Hogwarts. We need to find out, is the magic of the cup real? Or is the FA Cup just an irrelevant trophy these days? Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Sonny, that sports guy talking all things sport. And of course, today we're speaking football. We're speaking FA Cup. It's FA Cup weekend again. As we know, January is when the big draws happen. The third round draw, the fourth round draw, all the big Premier League clubs come into it. But the thing is, has it actually lost its appeal? I've seen some videos over the last couple of weeks where people have been talking about how it's an irrelevant competition, about how they would actually bolster the competition and, and change it so it would be for the better and have more interest. The oldest cup competition in the world is that for a reason. It has a lot of heritage. So doing so would mean a massive change for them. But would it be needed change? The FA Cup's always been an attraction and has this grand allure that means that the likes of myself and also you watching have somewhat of an affinity attached to it. Ten seasons ago, you won't remember where teams such as Hull finished, but you'll remember the fact they made the FA Cup final, albeit losing to Arsenal in the final 3-2. I don't remember where Portsmouth finished in the league in 2008, but I do know they won it, beating Manchester United on the way. Winning a trophy is way more important than where you finish in the league. Now, I know in recent seasons, there's been a lot of impetus on where a team finishes in the league due to revenue. But ultimately, for a fan, for a club, what you're assessed on is your trophies. The fact that anyone in England, and I'm including the National League, can win this cup goes to show that it's not about the big clubs. These FA Cup rounds is what is the bread and butter for a lot of clubs, especially if you're a club like Newport, who are playing Man United today. You get Man United coming to your ground. You get the big away allocations going to a club like that. You have all the broadcasters around as well. You have all the eyes on that game. We know a couple of seasons ago it's happened. We saw Sutton United take on Arsenal. We all remember the goalkeeper eating the pie, for example. Unfortunately for myself, I remember when Leeds came to Old Trafford back when they were in League One and they beat us. Jermaine Beckford scoring that goal. Newport, they beat Leicester a couple of seasons ago as well. Stevenage beating Aston Villa in 2013. These giant killings are what is the fabric of the magic of the cup. You can go in history and talk about the Ronnie Radford goal against Newcastle, which I still remember, not because I used to watch Hereford back in the 70s, but because that goal knocked out Newcastle, Hereford being a non-league side. I still remember 2008 when Haven and Waterlooville went to Anfield and were leading the game and unfortunately losing 5-2. That same season in the FA Cup, Barnsley beat Liverpool. They beat Chelsea en route to the semi-final. You don't just watch football for the glory. You watch it for the feeling that it brings inside of you. You feel like a kid again watching the games. I still remember the FA Cup as a kid. Man United winning it in 2004, losing it in 2005 against Arsenal in the final. The first ever game I went to as a kid was Man United Liverpool in the FA Cup back in 2006. I have a lot of respect for the FA Cup. Yeah, there are changes that are needed, but ultimately those changes shouldn't benefit the Premier League clubs. There's always talk about fixture congestion, and only this week we saw the EFL talk about how the EFL Cup weren't actually scrapping two leg semis. And for me personally, I understand that. Yeah, you'll have managers come out and say, we don't need this. But the thing is, the reason they actually said no to that was the fact that they wanted more revenue going down to the lower leagues. Similarly, in the FA Cup, it only benefits football if the money trickles down all the way down the leagues to the grassroots. People may say it's a dying competition, but viewer figures won't show that. We all saw in the third round how Arsenal and Liverpool's game broke records when it came to the third round. Yes, it is the modern day and there are streaming sites and I know it's a big game, but it only helps the FA Cup. There's more eyes on it as well. And even the prospect of your team making the FA Cup final, which is all about grandeur, you'd still be there watching it. I still watch every FA Cup final, regardless of whether my team's involved or not, even if it's a big club versus a smaller club. Build up to the kickoff, the coverage, the songs, everything about the FA Cup is special. But then coming out and saying that there should be seedings, there should be replay scrapped, takes away from that magic a bit. Now, I know a couple of seasons ago, they actually scrapped replays when it came to the deeper stage of the competition, which I don't think was a bad idea. But scrapping them for earlier rounds actually impacts the lower clubs, the traditional big clubs when it comes to football now. So Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, and of course Manchester City have had a pretty much stranglehold when it comes to this competition. Yeah, you had Leicester win it during COVID. And of course, who can forget Wigan winning it in 2013. But the big clubs do take this competition seriously. So if they're taking it seriously and they want to win this competition, who are me you to judge whether the FA Cup doesn't really have that allure anymore? Of course, for teams in the Premier League who are lower down in the table, they might have interest to finish in the Premier League because it means revenue as opposed to winning the Cup. Their fans don't care about. They'd rather win a trophy. There are so many teams in the league right now, such as the Spurs, Aston Villa, Everton, huge clubs that haven't actually won a trophy for so long that their fans pine for it. And if they won an FA Cup, it would mean the world for them. Don't get me wrong. When I was a kid, there was way more appeal when it came to the FA Cup. But when it comes to the competition now, you'll still see the likes of your Man City's, your Liverpool's, your Chelsea, your Man United going deep in this competition. 
Because not only does it mean a lot for them, but it also means a trophy, which at the end of the day is how a team is actually judged when it comes to success or not. The FA Cup still holds a special place in my heart. It brought me great memories as a kid. It still brings me great memories as well to this day. The magic of the cup is definitely alive, but we definitely need to see it prosper just a little bit more. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Listen, I know you guys might like, you know, the bright lights when it comes to the Premier League and the Champions League and me talking about that. But the FA Cup is still an important part when it comes to the footballing calendar. I have a lot of respect for it. I definitely like the FA Cup and what it brings, especially to the lower leagues as well. And even as a Man United fan, we've won it a lot. We have a lot of history when it comes to the FA Cup. Yeah, Fergie didn't win it as much as he would have liked, probably, especially when it comes to an Arsene Wenger, who's won it the most amount of time. But there is definitely a lot of attachment when it comes to the FA Cup. And of course, people are going to be talking about how they can change it and how there might be seedings needed for it. But as the old saying goes, don't fix something that isn't broken. And right now, I don't think the FA Cup is broken. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know about your thoughts when it comes to the FA Cup. The magic of the cup, do you think it's dead? And how your team will do in the FA Cup if they're still there. But as always, make sure to smash a like, comment, share with your friends and family. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. But as always, until next time, peace.